Hi YouTube, it's me Candy, aka Candy Sweet Enough. Um, this is a response video to Becky No Limits and uh, her weight loss surgery ignorance rant. And um, this is the first time I've done a response video, so bear with me. But uh, I really loved your rant. Um, I, I completely agree with everything that you said. I I had said it on the, your uh, comments, but I could go into a little bit more detail now. Um, on the radio, they were talking about how it's not fair that taxpayers have to pay for weight loss surgery and so on and so forth. Well, you know, let, let's not even think about government paid for insurance. Let's just talk about regular insurance. I just have regular insurance through my husband's work. They pay for my weight loss surgery and actually they're very quick to pay for it. The reason why? Because they save money. Insurance companies don't do things out of the kindness of their hearts. It's just not what they do. They do stuff because it either saves them money or whatever. And they have found out that by paying for weight loss surgery, they save on medications and other surgeries uh, that are, you know, due to obesity related issues. And um, so the insurance companies are bright enough that they figured out, hey, if we give these people weight loss surgery, then we don't have to pay so much out of our pockets throughout their lifetime. Then why can't we do that for government paid for insurance? It's the same thing. You're going to pay for it. You're going to end up paying for it. And why not let people have the quality of life that they deserve? Um, and you're right, this is not an easy way out. This is not an easy fix. This is not a cosmetic surgery. Um, what I am going to be looking into is gastric bypass. The reason that I'm looking into gastric bypass is because I'm diabetic. And through the re my research, I found out that there are ways of, it, it actually will help get rid of your diabetes, not just by losing weight, but also some hormones that are in your body. My daughter. Um, the hormones in your body and everything like that that actually help with your diabetes. So, um, you know, it, it's a proven fact that it helps. And so for people to assume that it, it doesn't have these effects, it, it's, you need to read. You, you quit making comments about things that you know nothing about. People just say, oh, you know, weight loss surgery. They see a woman go from a size 20 to a size 4 and they automatically assume that it was a cosmetic thing. And it's not. Yeah, that's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, she's adorable, huh? Go on, go play. So, um, yeah, that's great. And they look wonderful and everything like that. But think about what issues that person has saved themselves as far as sleep apnea, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all those things. And, it, and this is just a tool. It's not, it's not a done deal. It will, through gastric bypass, you first of all will have a smaller stomach. Well, there you go, you don't eat as much. That's one way of solving it. Number two, you don't produce the hormones that um, cause, cause you to be so hungry. So you're typically not as hungry as you were before. But still, you could sabotage that. If you have head hunger and if you still have issues, you can still sabotage yourself. So there's there's all these pluses that it helps you it's a tool that you can use but it's not a said and done deal you have to be able to follow through with what you with what you you know your plans and stuff like that I'm sorry she's distracting me <laughs> um, you you have to you have to change in here you have to be able to make yourself exercise and quit eating the foods and not just eating it because you think it's gonna be yummy I mean let's face it a lot of times as overweight person you use food as comfort or whatever and it doesn't even start tasting the same but you just keep eating it because it felt good released good hormones in your body that made you feel good for a little bit so you just keep eating it and then I was reading a book last night that was talking about um, they did a research now this was just one research so you know it's not whatever but um, they, they followed a group of people Half of them had weight loss surgery and the other half didn't. Well, what they found out through this research was weight loss surgery increased your life up to 89%. So there was an 89% oh 
less mortality rate for people who had weight loss surgery. Does that sound cosmetic to you? You know, there's an 89% chance that you'll live longer. That's, that's not cosmetic. That's, that's life. That's just life changing, life altering. And not everybody gets that. Of course, you have to, you have to be mentally ready for this. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's what you said in your rant was very true. And I wanted to applaud you for it. Mama, and, uh, what? I want a banana, a I want a banana cupcake. Okay, go away. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to tell you that I loved your rant and I completely agree with you. And there's probably a lot more that I wanted to say, but I'm completely distracted right now. So, that's it for now. Anyways, bye, YouTube. Bye, Becky. I like, enjoy talking to you on uh, YouTube and I enjoy watching all your stuff. Keep making it. Bye.